I wouldn't even know where to start, Robin, I swear. <laughs> okay, first off, try to find somebody safe on this campus. I mean, somebody who's relatively disease-free, who hasn't slept with one of my friends, who isn't heavily involved with somebody, who isn't painful to look at or talk to, who actually likes guys. This is a next to impossible task. And if I do find somebody like this, the odds that they have any interest in me are not terrific. I mean, I don't even know if I would allow myself to go out with somebody that I respected because I know the kind of guy I am. I know the thoughts I think. I know that I would not want me to date my daughter if I had a daughter. I know that I lose interest in 9 out of 10 women almost immediately after I've slept with them, and I've only slept with like 3 women. I know that I prematurely ejaculate on occasion. I know that sometimes I prefer blowjobs to actual intercourse, and I can't even come up with a halfway logical reason why a woman would want to give one. I know that I find sleazy women pretty attractive, and that I look at most women as objects. I know that white men have one hell of a historical legacy, what with enslaving the blacks and trying to treat the women like cattle, so, I mean, I, it makes me feel ashamed to be a part of what's supposed to be a privileged class. And I know that sensitive guys sound good in theory, but in practice, most women want guys to treat them like shit. I know these things. So you see, it'd be very hard for me to come over here and try to pick you up and still retain even a minor amount of dignity and truth and still enjoy myself a little. But I was just standing over there across the room and I saw Willie trying to pick you up and I know he's pretty smashed tonight and I just wanted to make sure you were okay. Are you okay? <laughs>